so there is a bit change in the flow of the presentation sidip group will be presenting their presentation first so the first project it consists of concept tutor it is a project aimed to develop a educational platform for students of different age groups for developing better way of learning in more interactive way so i request the interns to please proceed thank you good afternoon everyone i am abhishek sharma and he is shalish mani pande so i'll start with what is the motivation behind this summer internship uh basically what we have seen earlier is that education and fun both are separate entities and uh, what we have seen is static applications are running around us so what we thought so we we would work upon some dynamicality of the applications which will be more interactive in nature so we started working on a uh, concept tutor project which we are assigned in summer internship 2015 so what is concept tutor concept tutor is basically an educational platform whose objective is to learn to uh, build a platform for uh, students to interact more easily and more effectively and without any computer science uh, background and all so we started working upon concept tutor so uh, this concept tutor uh, we worked upon two or three applications and uh, the basic uh, applications which we started upon is so application mcq quiz application and image based application so what we thought is as we all know human mind uh, more easily learn things with the image based applications rather than text based applications so we started working up uh, working upon jigsaw uh, puzzle application it is basically uh, basic application which can be used more effectively for the students to learn easily and effectively so this is the basic uh, home screen of our application uh, it depends upon the user which platform he wants to use this application it can be uh, the desktop applications handheld devices and all that <coughs> so this is the jigsaw application uh, home screen a uh, user can uh, user can set the uh, settings like uh, uh, writing their names browsing the image which he or she wants uh, for the learning process he uh, or she can even set the levels of the uh, image that could be uh, cut it into the pieces and been displayed over the uh, game uh, gaming mode so after this saving uh, <coughs> this uh, this is the gaming mode this is the image panel and this is the uh, scroll menu so when the user uh, dra uh, drags the image piece from this scroll menu to the image uh, panel uh, it will be dragged and drop it over here and uh, we have the timer running in there and the name of the user is being displayed there and uh, user can even preview the images if uh, he or she get confused for the three times in a uh, limited uh, time he or she can preview the image effectively now after that the result will be displayed now we'll be showing you the video demo of our application yeah you, as you can see a uh, user is uh, setting the uh, browsing the image and uh, like this this is the desktop browsing and a user can choose his or uh, image uh, what he wants for the learning process like is choosing from the uh, this folder uh, this straw switch.png app uh, image now after this he or she can set the level and save his settings by writing his name uh, he can save his settings now uh, on playing the start option now he or she can uh, drag the pieces over the application uh, image panel and uh, he or she can even preview the uh, image for the limited access of a time so as you can see the timer is also running if he or she get confused or uh, bored with the application there is an option for quit now as well so uh, this uh, this is the result uh, which is uh, being displayed after the application got over now you can even exit from this home screen as well now after this uh, we worked upon the major application this is uh, the multiple choice quiz application and uh, now shelish will going to continue good afternoon everyone i am shelish mani pande so now i will be moving to the next major application that we developed it is mc hello Yeah, it is MCQ quiz application that we worked on. So uh, the basic motive behind this application is you can create your own quiz. You can distribute the quiz among the students, and then the students can play this quiz. And if if you did any mistake while creating the quiz, at the same time you can edit the quiz. Now the the best part about this application is you can choose your own subject, your own target audience, your own set of images, your own options, anything you like. It is completely dynamic. 
any you can create an image of uh, yeah, three options four options the image the 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 question can have two options three options any number of options it can uh, it can be a image based question or can be a text based question so anything that you like moreover the uh, even uh, when you create this quiz this, this kind of form you will be seeing and then uh, you can also browse the folder in which you want to store all your quizzes or uh, from where you want to read all your quizzes so this this browsing feature is also provided by us uh, although it is not natively provided by android we also implemented this browsing feature uh, browsing for folder and then uh, this is how you, uh, our screen looks like uh, on hand uh, on handheld devices when you uh, are attempting any quiz and then uh, this is how the browsing for image looks like so there are two kinds of browsing again a folder browsing and an image browsing folder browsing was the earlier one this is how the image browsing looks like so now we'll be moving to a short demo of this uh, mcq quiz application so we can start uh, if you start pay we'll get a list of all the quizzes available we'll scan the directory for you and give that list then we can attempt the quiz as you can say and uh, see the uh, and then whenever you click on submit there will be a pop up on the result screen you will see all those things uh, you can also browse for any uh, folder that you want so or you can reset this if on anything that will that can have low loss of data will give, give you a pop up then this is the screen for creating or editing the quiz so i can just click on editing the quiz this quiz can be edited as you see options can be deleted or randomly added this the question type can also be changed this now is an image option type so i'll choose an image from there Uh, any image and this image is uh, here now you can draw on that image the drawing cannot be outside the image it it has to be within the image you can provide any description of the drawing this de description will be shown to the student and he'll have to draw on the image so you can check it later uh, i'll just submit as you can see i when i switch between the uh, questions the data is not lost when i play you you saw now we go to the quiz again this has been edited so this is a new quiz there earlier there was something else so you can also undo whatever drawing you did that undo feature is also provided now uh, the this is how it appears for the one who is playing actually this has to be uh, in the like next uh, next uh, term of doing in, in this application this has to be divided into two apps one just for playing and one for creating for the teacher now you can also create a new quiz that, that this is the form that you will have to fill while creating a new quiz the author name the name of the quiz the number of questions whether it can it has to be multi correct or single correct i have correct uh, checked it to be single correct so now again the different type of image question where you will you will have to again browse for the image after the image has been browsed you can like like uh, provide some uh, means shade some area and give give options and then the user will be show, will be shown that area shaded by you and these options so you'll have to select from these options uh, like i selected this this is creating the quiz so i told the uh, in, in a way application that this is to happen uh, if anything is not filled you'll always get pop ups you cannot escape without filling the questions and uh, i just create another question here i can also add an option now option can also be of two types text option or image option so i just uh, took any random image and that that can also be added as an option now this quiz has been saved if you see on play this quiz this quiz is there this quiz is this quiz has been added so this uh, this was all about this mcq application this was on desktop now i would request please if you could focus on the android mobile we would like to show this on android mobile first this is this has been ported successfully to akash tablet every feature that we have shown here is also working on that so if it is working on akash i i probably feel it will work on every android device so this is the jixo application uh, when it starts you will see the home screen when it loads so this is the home screen as we as you saw on the screenshot earlier we'll go to the settings page now so if you click on settings page the settings will open you can browse for the folder now oh this is this is also you'll have to browse for image actually so you can select anything and then you can browse for the image yeah like he selected this file manager so from the file manager you can browse for the image and then that image path will be here you can also select the level like he selected level selected to a minimum so that we could complete it easier and then if you increase the level the image will be dynamically cut into more parts now if you start so after you click on start the image will be, uh, is being cut into several parts and the quiz will start shortly 
So this is uh, how the image, the image that he just selected has been uh, cut into several parts dynamically. So it's completely your choice which image you want to choose. You can choose India's map and check your ability of, uh, or like your knowledge of India's map or you could choose anything else that you want, uh, a, a, a body for a student or anything so that he could find. Now you can also see the preview. If you click on preview more than three times, you'll not be allowed to see the preview again. There has to be some limitation. Otherwise, you can always see the image again and again. Now after three times, if he clicks on preview, you can see he cannot because the button is inactive now. So if he completes the image, uh, yeah, now if the image is completed, you'll automatically be redirected to the result screen where the previous scores will be shown and also your score will be shown. So if you could exit this and go to the next application. So this was just in starting within the first 10 to 20 days we built this application. Uh, this was uh, for uh, image based learning based on images. Now this is the major application that uh, I talked about. It is MCQ quiz application. Again powered by Unity because it was Unity 3D that did, did the job for us. Now, as you can see, uh, uh, the, I think the name is written already there. So you don't already have, you don't always have to write the name. The name will be there on home screen. You can, of course, edit it anytime you want. But the last one who attempted the quiz on this device, that name will be present on that text box there. You can go to settings. So if you go to settings, you can browse for the folder now. Now this this browsing, this is something special because this is not natively provided by Android. There is no intent that you can find for folder browsing. So this is a, a tailor-made application. This is an uh, a, a small activity which is uh, developed on Android and called from Unity. This activity then further calls back Unity from the Android function. So you can uh, also reset. If you click on reset, probably this, yeah, it has been switched. Or you can change the folder to uh, one folder where we have put several quizzes. It is at, at, the, at the last uh, folder with largest name, I think. Yeah, yeah, this one. So here we have already put some tailor-made quizzes, so you could, we could see them now. Now we saved it, and uh, you see the name is uh, means again there. You can click on play now. If you click on play, we'll see a loading screen, and the, because the directory is being scanned for you, you just need to put that uh, quiz. That is a special .qz file which is written in XML format. .qz special extension for us so that we could identify that it is a quiz for us. Now uh, that directory is being scanned, and you'll soon see a list of all the quizzes that are available uh, in that directory. Here is the list of all those quizzes. This is a scroll view and then uh, all those buttons. So there is the, the, the name of the quiz, the author, the, the name of the author of the quiz, and then the category of the quiz. So you can choose any quiz by your own choice. You can, if you click on attempt this quiz, that quiz is being loaded. So uh, depends on how much uh, matter is there in that quiz. And then uh, now you can attempt the quiz, anything. You can also, uh, you cannot edit the quiz while you're attempting, obviously. And then you can submit. If you click on submit, you will see a pop-up. Uh, you can select multiple options here because it was a multiple correct uh, type of quiz. If it was a single correct type of quiz, you will not be allowed to take more than one answer. If you go to home again and go to this, uh, the create quiz page now, please. So in the create quiz page, again, you will be seeing the list of quizzes. Actually, this has to be a different application. Currently, for functionality checking, we have integrated into a single one because the create, applica create quiz application has to be with the teacher, not, not provided to the student. But initially, we thought that even if the student creates a quiz and they share it among the friends and then uh, try it, it will be a good thing. So yeah, again, you see the list. You can edit the quiz. We have already shown it there. So. Uh, yeah, the create quiz screen will also be the same. Now we can switch to image question here or edit the text there or click it, click and switch to image question. So the type of question will be dynamically changed. You can click on, select the second one. Uh, yeah. So now again, you can browse for an image from any of the folder browsers that you have. Now, if you click, uh, if yeah, the, that image has been brought up here and there are several options. You can also add an option, click on add an option first. Yeah, you can add an option. Then there are again two options, text option or image option. Text option will be similar. Please add image option. So if you add image option, again, uh, you can, uh, what do you, do you add text option? Yeah, so it is a text option. You can also delete a text option there. But if the number of options is less than two, you cannot delete because uh, obviously there has to be at least two, on the two options for the user. Then you can add some things here. Draw on the image, please, anything. Uh, just draw something on the image. So. There will be touch-based uh, drawing on Android platforms and mouse-based drawing on uh, the desktop platforms. Yes, so you can submit. So this quiz would have been edited now. This quiz would have been edited now. 
Now, if you click on play and uh, go to that quiz, that would have been edited. Which quiz did you edit? So it is uh, actually there are still few things that need to be uh, done. Like uh, we are storing all the images in XML format, converting them into a string into byte 64 string, compressing them and storing them into XML format. This I think can be improved. So uh, honestly uh, speaking, it is not not yet the ultimate thing that can be achieved. There are still many more things to do. Like the sharing, we 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 basically build this app considering thinking into mind that the the internet connectivity need not be required. So that later in, on later on we are also thinking that we could uh, somehow connect Wi-Fi direct to it so that the app created by the teacher can instantaneously shared with all the students in the uh, in the classroom. So as you can see this. If this quiz has been edited now while attempting this is the quiz that you are seeing and uh, you can also create a new quiz that would be same interface so no need there are the groups waiting so now if you uh, if you go to uh, yeah you can exit the app most of the functionalities have been now a last thing that that is uh, needed to be shown is there was one one another module that we developed this module was uh, for uh, th this can be later integrated into other uh, similar kind of apps in this module, what we'll do is uh, there will be a map or a, a body or anything. You will, uh, you cannot just draw a line in this module. You, whenever you draw something, this has to be converted into a closed area. So this closed area, uh, whenever you leave it anywhere, it will automatically join it to the start point, and this will be closed. So uh, we'll just show it in in a minute and uh, close it. So you provide any description for that area you drew on the image, and that 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 description will be saved. So this, like you draw on that, uh, you, you have to draw a closed boundary. This is requirement of this module. You cannot leave it anywhere. If you leave it anywhere, we'll, we'll draw it for you. We'll close it for you. And then uh, if you provide any description and you click on that again, uh, you will receive the same description. So it can be like uh, a parent can teach his kids by taking his own photograph. And then on the nose, he can uh, give a description that it is the nose. On the ears, he can give the description it is ear. And then the later the kid can touch anywhere on the body parts and he can know okay this is nose this is here all those things so this will be quite fun integrated with the learning so this was all uh, that we did then the future scope i already told while doing uh, you can read it i'm already getting late i think so uh, thank you that's all we have this is really impressive okay. normally i don't get impressed I'm <laughs> Basically, I had exactly one team which exceeded my expectations so far. I think for two people, this much is definitely impressive, if nothing else. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, <laughs> I can keep questioning anything. But that's it. And by the way, Jigsaw was one of the things which I was uh, trying to do for my Eka Shiksha. Okay, as a means of exactly the same thing and I dropped it okay, because I did not know how to sort of cut the pieces and put it together properly because the jigsaw is normally like that. Yes, okay. yes. The square thing I had not, not even considered. <laughs> yeah, but it looks, even with square it looks yes, difficult. Sir, it looks, so. yes. Actually, and there are a lot of other things you can do because yes, sir, uh, uh, one of the primary things that is there in, um, in textbooks is something called labeling. Okay. So there's an image and labeling of the parts of a flower, etc. Yeah, so so that's all what that the last module was all about, I, I told. So you can label each part, draw on the yeah, area. It was yes. the, what I have on Eka Shiksha for labeling is drag and drop. Okay. Okay. So I've got a module and there, there are squares over there and there are text and text you can drag and drop and with the same arrows. Yes. That's, that would be great. Thank you, sir.